converting an AM broadcast receiver to 160 metres. I had an email about this today and I thought that instead of writing a lengthy reply, it would be better to demonstrate it on video. You don't need very much to start. First of all, you need the receiver to be converted and then you need another receiver that will help to tune it up. It just needs to be an old-fashioned slide rule dial type receiver, preferably battery powered. This is also a bit safer if you are converting it, as you will be needing to have the receiver on while you are making adjustments inside. You also need two screwdrivers, one to open the radio up and the other to twiddle some of the controls inside it. First step is to put the receiver that you want to convert on a blank frequency around 1.6, 1600 or 160 or whatever. Anyway, at the top end of the dial. Just turn the volume up. Now we tune the second receiver around between about 10 and 14 on the dial. We, we have to hold it right up close to the uh, receiver we want to convert. You know, tune across. We'll hear it go quiet. What is happening is this second receiver is acting as a signal generator and it's being picked up on the receiver that you want to convert. A bit under 1200 kilohertz on this dial, about 1600 on this dial. The difference is about 455 kilohertz, give or take. Now that happens to be the intermediate frequency and it works because the local oscillator of the second receiver is 455 kilohertz higher than what you're seeing on the dial and that means you've got a signal at 1.6 megahertz now this will be very useful later on anyway we'll open up the radio and see if we can get this one going now we'll need some power so we'll put the batteries back in Next you've got to have a look around inside the radio and see what some of the various things do. The main items inside, the throw up rod, which you won't touch, some of the adjustments on the back of the tuning capacitor, which we will, some of them, and possibly, if we need to, the local oscillator alignment coil. Now, it's a bit hard working out which is which, especially if your radio is like this and has a short wave as well as a medium wave. So we'll just find a weak signal at the top end of the broadcast band and twiddle a few controls. Now, now, here we are. Put it so it's slightly off frequency and we'll have a, a twiddle. First of all, we'll adjust on the trimmers on the back of the tuning capacitor. Now, this one isn't doing anything, so we can exclude that. Ah, now this one here made a change. You notice how you can tune across. Okay, so that's the one we need. Now, what you want to create room for 160 metres, you need to move all the stations down the band. Now, this is the stage where you bring in the second receiver. In this case, we're using its local oscillator and we need a signal around 1.8 megahertz or a bit above. Now, for that to happen, we need this dial to be set at a frequency of let's say 1850 kilohertz minus 450 kilohertz which is about 1400 on the dial. Now we tune across, turn the volume up. Now to do this we have to tune, put the dial right up top end of the dial just above 1600. So I have a 
Now, it so happens that the second receiver is only reading about 1300 on the dial. So we've been able to bring it up to maybe 1700, 1750 kilohertz, but not yet up to 160 meters. So what do we do? Well, adjusting the trimmer on the back of the tuning capacitor didn't work. The range wasn't enough. So we have to try and find some other way of getting the local oscillator up higher in frequency so we can tune 160 meters. Now you'll, you'll notice various other controls. Uh, IF transformers, intermediate frequency stages, and we've got some local oscillator transformers as well. Now if this radio is AM and FM only, it will be a little bit simpler than this one. This one's AM, FM and shortwave, so there's some extra adjustments. Now, how to find the right one? Well, we have the radio on a weak signal, or maybe tuned off to one side, and just see if uh, slightly twiddle some of these. You might have to be a bit careful with the screwdriver, you don't want to break anything, and see if there is any change in what you hear, especially if it changes the station. Now, I think we've found the right one. Adjusting this is just like adjusting the tuning knob on the receiver. We're changing the local oscillator, and so this is what we need to tweak to get it on 160. And so we do the same trick again. We set the dial lower down than a signal near the top end of the dial on a known frequency, and we put that in. Once again, we've turned the dial up to the top end of the band, just past 1.6 megahertz, and turned the volume up loud. Let's have a tune around with our little receiver. Now, if you've already got a transmitter or a signal generator, then you don't need this second receiver. You're better off to use that signal generator. Now, just tuning across. Not hearing much, so we'll just hold near the right rod. Okay, this should be around 1400 on the second receiver style, and it's not quite yet, so we'll keep tuning. One, two, three, four, five. BK, three way testing. The receiver is now converted to 160 meters, but it might not be very sensitive, so we have to peak the front end. This is done by adjusting one of the trimmers on the back of the tuning capacitor. It won't be the one that we adjusted before for the local oscillator frequency, but it could be one of the three others. You just have to adjust them and see if there is a change to the signal level. This one doesn't do anything, that one doesn't do anything. Now this one has brought up the strength of the carrier from the receiver we're using as the local oscillator, so that must be the one. So we adjust that for the best signal strength. We move the local oscillator a bit further away to reduce its signal, and we peak on that. Or even better, find another amateur who can transmit a signal on 160 meters. It's better that it's an AM signal, but if he's only got SSB, you can still hear the duck talk on the AM receiver. You won't be able to understand it unless you have a beat frequency oscillator, which is a weak signal on either the intermediate frequency of 455 kHz or your received frequency on 1.8 MHz, which can replace the missing carrier. You can even use the transistor radio or signal generator that helped you with the alignment to do this. Carefully put the radio back together and the job is done. You now have a receiver converted to 160 metres.